Alright, so everyone, let me know if you can hear me. So welcome, welcome to today's uh live streaming. So uh welcome to Econ Club. So this is Yik. Uh I don't know when how how many of you guys are new to here or you have been listening for us for a while already. So this is this is a very, very important training that I want you guys to uh stay focused with me for the next I would say 30 to 45 minutes. So it'll be one of really really most intensive training ever on how you can get your e-commerce store up and ready okay for q4 which is right now is already q4 so anyone any not know what is okay what is q4 you can simply let me know in the chat box so we're gonna wait a little bit while for everyone to hop on so that's why in order to let more people see this live and this video so make sure you just type 777 in the chat box as long as okay you can hear me you can clear you can you can you can see my voice right so the more people want to see this live training and they're able to know what you need to do on their life right so let's see let's see okay i see uh jennifer is here amy is here uh, henry is here as well okay so we're gonna just keep the live active for a while for everyone to hop on so today we're a bit intensive so i want you guys to take out your notebooks I'm going to tell you your notebook. So let me give you a very, very quick uh, sneak peek as well about what we have today. Okay, so let me give you a very quick sneak peek about what we're going to show you today. And you're going to drop your own notes. Okay, so you can see this is a lot of stuff for here today we're going to cover. We're going to tell you what is Black Friday, what is Q4, what is the good thing about it, what's the bad thing about it, how you can make the best out of it. Okay, and we also tell you like in October, November, and December. What you need to do and what kind of asset you need to prepare so in this live training this is just a point for me to drop notes you know to share with you what we're going to tell you so that's why it'll be more intensive that i'm gonna write in a drawing board so you guys have to have to take all your own notebooks and follow with me with a notes taking so you're able to get the most out of it all right so simply type yes if you're ready for today's training and we're going to go straight to today's training so i cannot guarantee as a replay and the strategy i share with you today may not be working for next year so that's why if you're working watching a replay or else please please take action asap after i told you what you need to do today okay because right now it's already the beginning of q4 so you may not have enough time to do the preparation but you can still try your best to catch up all right so let's see let's see who is here and who is ready okay we got like 30 people here already which is good which is good all right with a lot of new name here as well hey ying is also here kim is here jennifer is here okay let's begin let's begin so uh let me take out your my drawing board okay so i want you guys to type ready if you have your pens and okay pens and notebooks ready i want you guys to drop notes not typing stuff trust me typing it's just typing with a computer but when you're jotting notes you're really really forces in it through your brain and then you use your hand to write it out it will help you a lot in terms of what you need to do and help you a lot on remembering the stuff you need to execute right so let's start okay let's start so the, this this one may not be share my screen okay so uh for Q4, for Q4, I want you guys to really understand the why everyone is talking about Q4. Okay, Q4 is basically October, November, and December, right? October, November, December. That's why it's also like Q1, Q2, and Q3. Basically, just one whole year divided by four chunks. Every three months is one quarter. Okay, but why Q4 is so special? It's because Q4 has something what we call a holiday season. It's what we call a holiday season, or you can say a buying season. That means everyone is on a holiday mood, they need to buy for stuff. Okay, they're basically saving all their money just for the Q4 promotion. Mm -hmm. okay, why so special? Just think about it. Just think about it. Okay, Apple can release their iPhone when? In September. They're preparing for Q4. So right now they release the, the iPhone, it's gonna take them like one or two months to get a production up, up to standard. That's when you buy it during the holiday season, which is like October, November, and December, you can get your iPhone as a gift. They even released the what? The Apple Watch. They released the iPad. And in this month, in October, they also have another event. They're gonna release the MacBook. The MacBook, right? And as well as maybe something with the AirPods. So you can see, 
if an apple was the biggest, the most, the most, most valuable company on earth, the biggest e-commerce company online, okay, they are releasing the product in kind of for Q4. Just because of they know that the biggest market is USA. And everyone is waiting for buy some gifts for their friends and family. So that's why they're launching a new product exactly for this period. And then not to mention Samsung. Samsung released a product usually in around August and September. Why? Why they have to release during that time? Because they cannot compete with Apple. They have to release it like at least one or two months earlier, just try to get the market. But you can see that just because of this decision, Apple is still always the best selling phone online compared to Samsung, LG, and all the other brands. So that's why you guys have to be really, really ready for Q4. Because what you're going to expect is you're going to see at least 3 to even 10x revenue growth. Then maybe, let's say right now you're doing 1K day. You can expect you're going to do easily 10K day during this, this month. Okay, my first 10K day, yeah, my first $10,000 USD per day is actually starting in October. Yep, I have a cat store when I started, I think I started on, on in June. We started my cat in June. It took me three months to reach 1K day in September. Okay, and then just because of suddenly the old Q4 arrived, we have some winning products and we are just basically relaunching old products. We're able to do like 10K day and we are literally doing it for three months nonstop. This is what happening in my first year of e-commerce. I do $1 million just because of how the Q4. Okay. I start learning e-commerce in April in, in 2016. Okay. It took me a while to pick up all the skills. And in June, it's, it's the summer holiday. It's really the lower season. And then when Q4 start to happen, I start seeing results of my store. I accumulate more money. And then with October, November, December, I hit my first $1 million within the just first year of me doing e-commerce. And it's keep repeating, repeating every single year in this month. So I want you guys to really, really, I would say, if you want to go all in, this few months is the moment you want, you want to go all in. Because after Q4, it may take you way longer time for people to recover on their wallet. Think about it, they spent all the money, all the saving in just this three months. Do you expect that in January or in, in August or in any other period of time they have a money back and buy from you? No, because then usually in April or this kind of few months is the one they do the tax. Then they start paying money to the tax as well for the government. So they may not have extra money to spend. So this free month is the moment they have a lot of salary, a lot of bonuses, and they keep buying. Okay, the whole economy will be only focusing on selling stuff. All right, so this is what we call Q4. And there's two things I want you to remember, two keywords. The first one, gift. The second one, BFCM. Okay, anyone know the long form for BFCM? Anyone know it? Anyone know it? So, for gift, if you're shopping for gift, for them, for okay, there's two type of gifts gifts for you, that means for yourself, and the gifts for what for other people. And I tell you both simply ask yourself, you have money right now, there's a new iPhone. Do you want to buy the iPhone for you first, or you want to buy it for your friends? Sure, it's for you first, you want a new phone, right? But then you can think about okay, if I'm buying a new iPhone, what else can I buy for my friends? But can be a cheaper price, they will look for the Apple Watch, which is just two to three thousand, two to three hundred dollars. Right? They will look for the airport, which is a hundred something dollar. If they have more money, they can buy the iPad, even for the MacBook for the family. Right? They only say that's why so many price range for you to buy and for the gifts for a family. So that's why I will tell you what you can see the good things in this three months. Right? Then you need to focus a lot on BFCM. It's what we call Black Friday. Okay, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Let me show you one when it is in this, for this year. So for this year, the Black Friday, you see, is actually on the 26th. So put this down on your calendar. Literally, you need to mark this day on your calendar. You can expect that whole world, I mean the whole USA, whole basically half the world on this day gonna buy like crazy 
and there's a lot of a lot of transaction during this date and people even going outside in the physical store to grab their new television the ps5 and all this stuff right so that's why you must remember this date and and there's another one called cyber monday which is the following day for the following monday after the black friday usually black friday is more for physical store sales they go to a store to buy the stuff and for cyber monday it's because they want to do something for online sales that's why it will be online and then and then this you need to know china also said something called the the november the 11th of november okay the 11th of november so this is something that uh the the, the ladi baba created this festival okay the double 11 the double 11 uh, festival it's also called a single days right so right now more and more company also integrate this as what we call a pre-sale for black friday that means it's kind of like two weeks before the black friday arrive right so that's how you can also mark this down on your canada so you start promoting your black friday over on the 11th of november can be something like a pre-order that means like maybe 20 percent off or 25 percent off if you buy now okay so they can buy first and get delivered to your to your store or to your home earlier and then on black friday you can offer another discount maybe even bigger discount on this and that right so there's a lot of things you can play around but you need to remember this because a lot of people okay you need what happened you need to know what happened right now is okay you know what happened right now is think about it think about it black friday is good but actually it's pretty not good as well for this year first since 2000 i would say the beginning of 2020 there's some huge event called COVID. Right? By the way, by the way, whenever you learn something new, whenever you have some aha moment, you can just type 777 in the chat box. So just to remind yourself that, ah, I'm learning, I've learned a new stuff. Let me remind myself, I need to drop some notes. Ah, you can also remind other people that this point is really important, that it inspire you. So that other people, okay, we do think about, okay, okay, that means this is a very important sentences. That's a important concept I need to remember. So that's why whenever you learn something, just type 777 uh, in the comment box. They will help you a lot. At the same time, help a lot of uh, our audience as well in the training. Okay, so in early 2020, or you can see the, la the, the, the end of 2019, COVID-19 appeared, right? And every store, every country, I would say every country, they have to do what? They need to they stay home. They're going to stay home. There's no nothing to go. They cannot go outside. There's a lockdown. When they want to buy stuff, they all rely on what online which means which means just think about this maybe in the whole country only let's say in a, some some developing country only 20 percent of people have a credit card that they can buy online but right now just because of covid that number 3x even 4x because they need to shop online otherwise they cannot buy the stuff that's why the people who now have experience experience in buying online at least three x four x right now so everyone know how to buy online right now at least once okay online so that ready right now there's a bigger market the market is way bigger right now okay at the same time at the same time because the physical store cannot make any money so those physical store they also turn into an e-commerce store they do online store right now so then you should expect more and more competition. Okay, you should be expecting more and more competition this year. Because the number of online store basically also 3x and 4x as well. Because they all open their own online store. So this is the thing you need to expect. Yeah, we have bigger market. You always have bigger competition. And it depends on who has the experience, okay, who has the right strategy. And who are the preparation to do it first so they can still make the best out of it okay so this is the purpose for today's training okay okay so time to show you guys something first one first one let me tell you some good thing start with good thing first right you always have some good news first right the first one yep you're gonna you're gonna expect some f high fh order value okay aov you need to remember the terms it's called fh average okay order value what it means is you're going to have a higher order amount that means people may be they just buy like 20 dollar 
in, in a store, but right now they may buy higher, maybe thirty dollar, a hundred dollar, even more in each order. They may buy multiple stuff. This is first benefits. Why? Because they buy more stuff. Because it's cheaper right now. They're more discounts. They're saving the money to buy the stuff they like. They may be uh, bookmarking your product for like for the past few months, and they just wait for the perfect time right now to buy from you. Okay. And then the second thing is you're gonna expect more repeat customer. Okay, repeat customer. Yeah, they're just waiting for your promotion. Let's say they buy the iPhone from you last year. And this year you release new iPhone, I'm gonna come and buy from you, right? Last year they buy something like 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 for for bad things. It's really, really good. It's really comfortable. And this year they could come back again to buy another bad things, so to replace the thing they need to download, right? So that's the idea. Okay, more repeat customer, higher average order value. But this is just like it gonna happen. But how you can make it better? Okay, how you can make the average order value way higher than before? How you can even get people come back to you? How you can reach to them? Okay, because there will not be suddenly more customer to your store, right? If you're not, you're doing nothing. You don't need to, you cannot just sit here and expect Black Friday gonna work for you. You need to do something as well. So we're gonna tell you later on today, right? And then number three, you should expect more email or SMS open. That means people are literally shopping for deals. Okay, where they find the deals? They find the deals by checking the email. They see whether anyone sending them a good deals, any promotion, any 25% off, 50% off, or any free gifts. They're also gonna check more SMS as well because right now, more people are using SMS marketing. That means they will check, okay, is there a promotion? That should I click on it? Or should I need a reminder from a shop to tell me to buy, buy from that store for a quick earlier, early bird, a Black Friday discount? It's gonna happen as well. Okay, so you're gonna expect this. So when you expect more open, that means what? You need to send more email. You need to send more SMS, right? And then number four. Okay, for number four, you should also expect more ad engagement. Okay, more advertising engagement. What it means? For more advertising engagement, that means people will more interact with your ad. They will literally see what you're selling. They're gonna click on it and see what you're selling and then wait for your promotion. Because now they're doing something called window shopping. Do you know what is window shopping? That means you're on a shopping mall and you just look at the windows, but you didn't go inside. You just look at it. You look at the price, you look at the product, you look at the style, but you haven't go inside and check it. The same thing here. Right now they're seeing your ad, they're clicking your ad, they're bookmarking your ad, and they're just waiting for the moment. Let's say the Black Friday, and then they will start buying from you and go back to your store. So that's why you should expect more link clicks. The clicks are going to increase. Okay, but it doesn't mean you have more orders. It's just a beginning. Okay, so that's all you need to know. You need to know, right? And then one more thing. On Black Friday, you're gonna have increase in conversion rate. Conversion rate. That means maybe you should you maybe usually 100 people go to your store. Maybe that's like like let's say 15 people add to cart, and then you have like three, three people buy from you. Okay, free order. This is a standard, standard, I would say this is a standard conversion rate. 100 people visit you, 15 add to cart, and 3 orders. Okay, And then on Black Friday that day, when 100 people visit your store, it can be yep, 30 people add to cart, and then you got like get 6 orders. That means your conversion rate bumped from 3% to 6%. Because most of these people, they're ready to buy. They're no longer window shopper. They're already ready to buy buyer. So you're gonna expecting more money, a higher conversion rate, this and that happening to your store. Okay, but because you have bad things, can you take a quick screenshot? If you want it, alright, or you can just write it down. Okay, but yeah, I'm speaking really, really fast today because there's a lot, a lot of content. I want to finish the training on time. Okay, so then the next one, the next one. Okay, yeah, we have good thing, but there's also bad thing. And these bad things will kill your store, will ruin it, if you didn't prepare earlier. The first one, the first one, yup, it will become more expensive. Okay, your ad spend will become more expensive. What do you mean? Let me tell something called CPM. If you have been running Facebook, you know it. If you don't know what all it is, you will know it later on, okay? The CPM is going to increase. Usually, you're going to take some, maybe it was $5, 
hey, to to reach 1,000 people to see your ad, but now it may be bumped to $20, even $50 during Black Friday just to have 100 pe 1,000 people see your ad. So what it means is you need to have more money. You need to have more money. If you want to make more money, you need to have more money. Okay, so start to think about how you can get more saving. How to borrow money. Okay, get a credit card ready. Increase the limits on your credit card. Okay, get your fam, friend and family. About whenever you need some extra cash, they can instantly send you some cash. Okay, for me, for me, well, the first year I do it, yeah, I'm literally doing 10 k day every single day. But because of cash flow issues, I am not able to scale my ad. I'm not able to pay the supplier. I end up asking my mom to give me, I think it's roughly around 50K, 50, yeah, 50K USD. Just help me to sustain the business. And I pay her back with 3% interest within just one month. And that year, I'm just 22 years old. So when that year, I borrow money from my mom, 50k, hey, I'm doing make good money, I just need that cash flow. And then if we finish just one month, I pay back another 3% of interest to it. That means I pay back 51.5k in just one month. And just because I do this, now she has faith, and whole, my whole family have faith into me that I'm able to make borrow money, make money, and pay back all the money. So that's why right now, I can do whatever I like as a businessman. Okay, so that's it. You need to prove to your bank your family that you can make money, you can pay back back money, and you're gonna make a lot, a lot of good relationship when you need cash. Okay, utilize money, and you don't even need to use your own money. Okay, that's how you utilize your your credibility, your honesty, and your own skill set. Right. So that's why the next thing is, okay, customer service gonna increase. Okay, CS. That's a song that keyword called CS, which means customer service. More and more people, okay, more people, more people are gonna ask you things. What are they gonna ask? They're gonna ask you things on, okay, basically anything. Where, what is the discount? Any percentage discount? Okay, when can you ship it? Right? When can make sure it's ready to arrive? People will already place an order, okay, they may ask for cancellation, they may ask for refund, they ask for a lot, a lot of stuff. And you need to make sure that when you are, think about this, you are doing product research, okay? You're importing product, okay? And then you're launching it. At the same time, you're placing order. You're placing order on your store because you have, you have orders, right? And then you're paying your credit card bills. You're managing your money. And not to mention, there's still people asking for your customer service, right? You have people on Instagram, right? Facebook, on email, all this crazy channel talking to you and people leaving reviews and all this stuff gonna happening in this few weeks and you need to have enough staff on it. I can tell you, uh, during Black Friday, we are getting around 100 plus email a day on our store. This is, yeah, 100 new email sent to our customer service team just to ask this kind of stuff. When you're doing like 10K, 20K, 30K per day, think about it. If you're doing 30K per day, you know how many orders you're getting? Let's say your order value is $60. You are actually get, getting 500 orders a day. If just one, just like 1% 1 people want to send you a request, that's already five people gonna send you an email. And you keep accumulate, right? Because you reply the email, they reply you back, and you're gonna talk like at least three, four, five times before the issue is fixed, right? So you're gonna expecting a lot over here. Don't tell me that no way, Yake. I don't want to do 30k. I'm okay with just 1k. Seriously? It's once in a lifetime. This can be the final time for you to run e-commerce in e in Black Friday. And you're expecting just 1k a day. Why don't you aim for 30k? Aim bigger, prepare yourself for it, right? Because opportunity is only for who? Opportunity is only for people who are prepared. Yeah, when you're ready, there will be opportunity. When you're not ready, no one's gonna give you because even you that's here, you cannot eat it. Okay, you cannot touch it. If it's too big for you to handle, you're gonna miss the opportunity, you're gonna feel regret for your whole life. So money, CS is the thing that you have to focus a lot, a lot on. Okay, and that's another huge mistake and huge issues is about the shipping. Because whole world 
going to have an increased shipping demand. Yeah, they will delay for at least two, three, even one or two months. There's nothing you can do about it. I can say, basically, you cannot handle this kind of delay. All you need to do, all you can do is set a cutoff. Okay, or what we call expectation management. Okay, what do you mean by cutoff? For example, if they want it to be a gift, you need to make sure that they need to order at least maybe one month earlier. So they can make sure within one month they're going to receive the item. Or they pay for a faster shipping, which may be DHL or FedEx. Okay? So you can get get that cut off. So if you think about this, you, you can tell them, if you want this as Christmas, Christmas gift, make sure the order within like one month earlier. You let them know on the website. Okay? Or you tell them expectation. Just tell them, yo, the item may arrive after Christmas. So if you're looking at this for as a gift, we don't recommend you buy it right now, or you should pay for a higher shipping price for the faster shipping. Okay, so this is something you need to arrange. You need to tell them as well. Okay, so that's why remember this. You have to do the expectation management. You must. Otherwise, you're gonna see like tons and tons of refund. Okay, you may see even even just one percent refund, or what we call chargeback on the store. This will ruin your account. This will ruin your straight account, your PayPal account, and they will shut down your account just because of all the refund rate. And you have to protect it. So that's why you have a very, you should have a very good customer service team handling this kind of request. Reply the message. Let them know you're working on it so that they will not charge back, they will not ask for refunds. Otherwise, this will be the end of e-commerce journey. Because once, once, I have a lot of friends have this problem. Once your PayPal or Stripe got banned, okay, you got banned, this is lifetime. Because you got you used your ID card to verify it, right? No, whenever you open a new store using the same name, you will get back again. You will be on their blacklist forever. Okay, so you, the only thing you can do is open another store using your mom's ID card, your other people's ID card, your friends' ID card. I, that's why this is lifetime. Just like your credit score. Okay, and they share the information across the internet. So you need to be careful about this one. This is one of the biggest, biggest mistakes, right? So we have to already told you the good things. Also tell you the bad things already, right? You can see here actually, we have the notes here, okay? You have, we have already told you the good things. Also told you the bad things already, right? So we also give you some solution, some solution, okay? So for the solution here, for the bad things is, when it's more, more expensive, okay? We're gonna use more what we call a retargeting list. I will show you what it is and how you can prepare for it. When the customer service increase, you need to have a higher more VA. Okay, for us, if you need my help, you can just send me a message. You send me a message. Okay, we own a VA agency that started e-commerce, e started e-com service since 2011. Okay, and there's actually 20 plus staff here. Okay, and they're all ready to work for you if if they're still available. Because right now we have more than I feel, I forgot it's like 20 or 30 staff uh and clients already uh, need our help. That's why if you really need a help, you need to start reserving the, um, reserving us or send us a quick message and my 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 uh, my uh, VA agency, our VA manager will talk to you and see what they can offer to you. They can do anything with email, put an import, put a research, setting up store. Uh, theme, uh, Instagram management, social media management, email, SMS, whatever stuff, e even email marketing, anything you need to think about in uh, e-commerce, they can help you with it. All right. So then shipping delay, like I told you, early cut off date, or you can say expectation. Expectation. All right. So before I go into this part about how you can make the make good out of a, best out of it, okay, if you already learn a lot of stuff here, you already think it's good, give me some 777 in the comment box because I need some time to take a sip of water, all right? And also can answer some of you guys' questions first. Let me see, Yik, how do you handle deliver? Delivery misplaced issue. Sometimes they will take up to 30 days to find a pencil only refund after a period. 
yeah the misplaced will be crazy that's something that are hard to handle so you need to have some trustworthy supplier that when things happen like this they're able to ship the item a new item for you for free and this is only about the relationship with your supplier so this is really, really something you need to build right and let me see so so a lot a lot a lot of uh seven 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 thanks thanks okay so back to here back to here okay so with preparation no no preparation is not good enough i would say make the best out of it Okay, how to make the best use of Q4 okay so the first one early yes I'm using early yes okay preparation the earlier you start the preparation the better just look at what we have done okay you can see we are launching two three new store yep I mean, we're just launching new store when we say in in june july and august and we're all prepared for the q4 so that this new stock gonna perform really really well so we can accumulate a large chunks of uh returning customer so that we the next year we can just keep it there automated so we always use this strategy is we create a new store and then we use q4 to build up the audience and then for the remaining few months of the years they can just come in back and buy from us without spending a lot of ad so the same for you guys are you prepared earlier right now for your money for the amount of credit cards for the for for for, for a lot a lot amount of product do you know in a mastermind in a mastermind we tell our student to prepare for the product since late august that they need to have at least 500 products in their store 500 product the cash store that we launched earlier this year we have around a thousand product already the biggest store we have we have six thousand product in our store so 500 is pretty small compared to what we have right now and it's a must why why i need 500 all the product in my store why not the more you have the more option you need to pick so you don't need to worry about oh this product is good i need to import it think about it. every product you import you do you just takes time but why right now you have a catalog that is already ready for you to launch it you know the supply have stock you know all these things is ready you just need to run ad you need to tell them what to buy and it worked really really well and you guys still have time to do it. Just go all in on product research and important products, and this can give you a lot, a lot of options to play around. So this is the first part. Okay. Then the second thing is what we call competition. What do you mean competition? Please look at your competitor list. Okay, if you are on our on our training, you will know that we focus a lot on learning from our competition. See what they're doing. Are they already sending email? Are they already doing 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 promotion? Have they changed something on their website? Do they already mention about the Black Friday all these things? If yes, you need to do it right now. Okay, you don't want to be the last one. Okay, if you cannot be the first one, at least be the second one. All right, try to be the first one. That okay, I always start my promotion so that your competitor is going to learn from you. They need to chase for you. Okay, the same. If you cannot be the first, you know that they're doing it right now, instantly copy. Do it now, do it ASAP, right? So that you can do what? Okay, so that you can what? Try to grab some attention from their audience, right? So you must do it ASAP. Learn from what your company is doing, see what, what kind of product they're importing, what are they doing right now with the promotion, SMS, email, their, their Facebook page, Instagram. Then copy it and use it on yourself, right? Then now most important part i need to open in another separate one okay better just use this i'm going to use this okay it's easier for me it's too many stuff here i don't want to write it okay just look at this part i'm gonna hide this okay look at this part okay the first step you need to accumulate and utilizing your asset okay you need to accumulating and utilizing your asset so what is asset asset is the things here i'm gonna show you here your asset will be your email list okay your email list then how many people is already on your email we have store 
that have email of 200,000 email list and more, and they keep growing. And we have some new store that already have a few thousand, 10,000, 20,000 email list. Every single email card. In e-commerce, you should expect at least $0.1 okay, per email per month. That means, let's say you have a list of 2,000 people, you should expect that you should be making at least $200 just by sending out email to them. Okay, this is some of the at least number that you need to do it. And the num this amount will increase depends on the quality and the pricing of your product. But I wish you expect at least zero point one. Okay, some niche is doing one dollar. Some niche is doing bigger number. Let's say the car niche. Yeah, you have you sell cars, right? One car is like thousand, tens of thousand dollars. So that's why the email list will be more expensive as well. Real estate company they sell houses, they sell buildings. That's why it's more expensive. Twenty, even a hundred dollar. Also will, be, also will be happening as well. But for us, e-commerce, I would say at least 2.1, right? Okay? So you need to focus it on building a lot on your email list, okay? For example, a lot of promotion, a lot of giveaway, a lot of email pop up, ask people to sign for an email list. So I, I cannot give you an example to do it, but five ways to do it, okay? Then you also have your customer list. That means people already bought from you and you can easily export it from the store. There will be a list called customer. You click customer on your on your Shopify store and we show you all the customer that you have and you can narrow it down based on how many products they have placed. Let's say uh only place one order, people place more than one plus order. Okay, you can even narrow it down based on how much they spend. For example, people only spend like ten dollars, people spend more than like fifty plus, even a hundred dollar plus. This is so different in terms of audience base as well. You can base on that and then send in a different promotion. Okay, and then your facial pixel. Your facial pixel will collect data for all people who visit your store. Okay, visit your store, add to cart, initiate checkout. Okay, the time they spend, okay, the frequency they spend, right? As well as what we call uh 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 how many order they have placed, and all these things. And they are very, very useful that you can create a custom audience based on that one by one. Right? And then your page engage audience. People on your Facebook page that they like, okay, they message you, they save your post, right? And people who always save your post, and a lot of people who, 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 who watch your video, okay, and all your followers, all these are targetable. Okay, and you need to build this. I can take one of our Facebook page, one of our Facebook page, only on a page engage audience, we have two million. On page engage. Just look at this number. Two million people have engaged, interact, like, comment, and share on our post. That means they love our niche. They kind of inside our potential customer list. All we need to do is just do what? We run ad to this two million side audience is way cheaper than we run ad to what we call the cold audience, which is the interest targeting or the lookalike targeting. And what's best about this is, is all the pixel, all the page engage, all the email list, customer list, all this is what we call a warm audience. They mean they know who you are. They've already interacted with your store. And then all this audience, you create something called a lookalike audience on your store. No, no, so I mean on your ad account. I know it's a little bit complicated, but when you get what I mean, it's like, so people who join your email list and you create lookalike audience on it. That means people who are similar to this list of people and Facebook help you to expand it. They mean yeah, when you run into this audience, high chance that they're gonna want to become your email list audience. High chance that they want to visit your store, add to cart, initiate out, buy, save, be an audience, follower, all these things, all based on what you use it to create. And you can even create custom audience, that's what we do. Our winning custom audience look alike is actually people who bought more than $100 from us. That we create a custom audience list, we upload to Facebook, hey, this is the people who bought from us more than $100. Please find similar people for this group of people. Then this audience will be super, super high quality. Why? Because it's based on people who spend a lot of money, that means higher order value. And you can even create people who based on repeat customer. People bought from you more than three times, four times, five times, six times, even 10 times. And you create localized audience based on this, the quality of audience will be way higher. And this will help you a lot in running your ad. All right? Then, yeah, look, you see, the quality of audience will depend on people who seen your ad. Actually, one more layer. People who just engage and people who have seen your ad, people who visit your page, which you saw, okay, the people who have seen your ad, 
and then people will engage with ad. Okay. People will visit your store and people bought from you. And even with you know, people bought from you, you have different layer of people. People bought your food for shipping over, then you just buy for the cheap stuff. Low average order value will be just like $20. Right? And people higher value may be more than $100. And the repeat customer will buy a lot of stuff. Okay? Then that's what we call the VIP customer. The VIP customer. Okay? What can, how can I make good use of it? Right? Think about this. You can, if you have an email list, you have an email list here, right? And you group them based on how much they spent. You can simply send an email to them for those who are your repeat customer, who spent a lot of money. You can tell them, hey, we have just checked the record. You guys are the one who spent a lot of money on your store. We know you love our store. That's why we are opening up our very, very early bird Black Friday offer to you guys. And only you guys can access it. Done. Plus an email to them, they feel more, they feel more personalized. They're gonna feel more personalized. Just because of this. When you feel more what? Valued, and you get more respected, and you get more attention, and then they will give you back the attention, which is their money. And this is what you want to do as well. So focus a lot on this. And you may say, no, Yig, I do not have all this kind of stuff. Yeah, why Why you just start right now? I've been keep talking about this kind of training like since the beginning of this year. Okay, you say, no, yeah, I don't have no money to run ad. But you have should be building your Facebook page, your Instagram page, right? Your Instagram account. All this thing can be used right now. You have your store, you have your pixel, you can have this data. You just need to what? Utilize it. Okay, everyone's going to start somewhere. Don't give you guys any excuses. Right? So then... Number four, okay, one, two, three, four. Branding and theme, okay, branding and theme. You need to start setting up your branding. Okay, you need to start setting up your branding. What it is? That means, yeah, on your cover page, on your facial page, yeah, on your store slideshows, on your facial page cover, your Instagram story, you need to create something with a theme. That means, let's say, no, October is Halloween. You need to change everything into a Halloween theme earlier, at least two to three weeks earlier. So tell them, it's Halloween promotion, click the button to shop now. So when they go to the store, they know you are a new store, not some store that is old, not changing the theme every single time of the year. You need to keep changing it every once per month. Let's say it's Halloween, you change your Halloween theme. It's Black Friday, you change the Black Friday theme. It's Christmas, you change the Christmas theme. Every month, there's going to be some, some, some theme, right? February is Valentine's Day, right? Uh, or, or April maybe it's the Easter, right? Then you have the summer. All these things you have to do it. Just take you like five minutes on Canva, make a photo, upload it there, right? As well as also on your email, you need to mention this as well, right? And then we have the SMS, okay? SMS and email. So you need to prepare your template. Let me at least draft it. Make a draft. Okay, let's say it's Halloween. Make some draft first. What are you going to sell? What are you going to say to them in Halloween? Try to have at least two, at least three plus version. Yeah. Halloween send three different email. Halloween start now. But Halloween going to start. Halloween start now. End of Halloween. Already three email. Christmas going to start. Christmas now. Boxing day. Whatever day. One email each. You because everyone gonna send more email. If you cannot compete with them, your email will never, never appear on there at the right time. The more email you send, the better gonna, uh, they're gonna see it. They open it, they're gonna buy from you, all right? Then, we have the ad launch and portal launch. Okay, ad launch and portal launch. Yup, you, you must, okay, you must start launching your ad as soon as possible. Because right now the aspect is still cheap. Facebook will optimize ad that always running the longest time. So the because they have the more data, so it will not affect that much. But if you launch the ad, new ad during Black Friday or that those holiday season, it will be super expensive. Because it's expensive, you have less data to collect it based on the same budget you spent. With less data, difficult to optimize and then high chance that it will not work out. So you should have a few winning products before what we call Black Friday arrive. 
So you can use this to drive traffic to your store and they end up buying from you. And you need to use this. Okay, you need to start launching at massive, massive launch and massive, massive product launch. Or uh, in specific how to launch multiple products during Black Friday, uh, I cannot cover you right now here. It's only on my it's, it will be inside the mastermind if you guys are a mastermind student. I will go through it as well in detail. You take you guys you're gonna spend like three, four hours only on setting it up, right? And then and then have to be quick. Okay, retargeting. Okay, think about it. All this list you created. The email list, customer list, pixel, page engage, all these things you can retarget them. It's way cheaper than whole audience. Okay, and the conversion rate, okay, the money you get, the ROI will be higher as well. Because they have they know who you are. So you need to know how to launch retargeting ad, how you how you can let them know you are telling them to come back to buy from you. And there's a long list of strategies there, but you can get some idea from our free training as well. Right? Then we will Black Friday and Cyber Monday promotion. So which is like uh on the 20 what 26 right right so on the black friday promotion what kind of ad you need launch okay what kind of email you do set well there's a lot a lot of stuff you need to prepare and you need to do it there's a lot of template online you can try to copy but yeah at least copy some of them don't do it yourself learn from some big brand learn from some youtube free channel whatever training you can go outside try to follow them at least just don't sit here okay then the last one i will highly recommend is a gift guide that means tell them what to buy if they don't know what to buy they will not buy if you don't tell them what you have they do not what you have but that's how you can tell them based on price okay you tell them based on price based on type okay based on theme and even based on a lot a lot of stuff Maybe for her, him, mom, dad, right, pet, whoever you can think of, based on the audience, you have a group in the different product type that they can buy. Okay, even though you are not grouping them, but at least create a category for them. Yeah, so that they know that something they can click around. When they click around, the more engagement they have on your store, the higher chance they're gonna buy. This when they engage with your store, your retargeting is gonna work. Whatever they interact on your store, when you set up the right retargeting ad, they're gonna keep seeing the product again and again. It will help you to convert them as well. All right. So this is the main, main, main thing I would highly recommend you guys to do it. Okay. Let me see what else. Then we will the preparation. So for October, the big season, we will call the Halloween. Okay. Use Halloween as a beginning stage to attract more audience because everyone knows it's Halloween. The earlier you start promoting about Halloween, you're actually warming up your list, the pixel, okay, and your audience. Okay, and then this is the best timing for you to accumulating assets and utilizing your asset right now. That means you need to think about ways to increase people who engage with ads, people who visit your store, and people who join your email, and people buy from you. These four things is something you need to keep accumulating throughout the whole year, and you're going to increase the budget for this in this month. Okay, launch all this game can be achieved by just basically launching more products. This is cheaper. Just launch more products. Okay, because it's cheaper. Because when you see in November, ad will be more expensive. It'll be too late for you to launch ad. Alright? So and then for November, you need to re, re, re prep for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Okay, you can even launch it for pre-sale. Okay, you can see pre-sales here already. I can put it there. And the pre-sale is here. Okay, it can be two weeks even three weeks earlier so that they can start buying from you first because if they all buy in black friday because of those over they may use up all their savings they will have no money for you if you're too late to promote the earlier you get the attention of their wallet they're going to put the money on your account on your on your store first before they spend on other store all right and then you start so you have the email and the sms reminder to tell them about the pre-sales and the on-day sale okay get all your ad ready your creative, your promotion, your templates, you're gonna do a very, very mega launch during this, I would say this, I would say the five days period in the Black Friday, Summer Monday. Okay, all this ad will be only for retargeting. You'll launch some crazy ad, a bunch of ad, only on your existing list. Put like thousands of dollars on it, keep reminding them about the, the promotion and promotion. Okay, and then they will come and buy from you. And then prepare money for cash flow. 
Okay? And then December, yep, kind of repeat the same thing what we've done in November for the Christmas and New Year. Okay? And the SP will buy from you on the November, they will start asking you about, hey, where's my order? Where's my all these things? So that's why you need to increase in the VA. Okay. To handle your customer service. All right. Then after this, yep, you can kind of take a break, but in January, in January, this is actually a very, very good way for people who miss the promotion. Okay, people who miss the promotion, you can do another sale in January, just telling them that, hey, I know you may miss the November and the December promotion, but we still have a chance because the November people, the December people, they may already receive their order. When they receive the order, they like your item, they're more happy to come back to become a return customer. So this can help you to give another boost to turn it into what we call a VIP customer. Yeah, they already buy a lot of stuff in November, December. But in January, you can just tell them, hey, we have spent a lot of money already. Right now, do you know that you can become our VIP? Maybe when you spend, when you spend a hundred dollars on our store, you're gonna give them a VIP. What's a VIP? VIP can get like maybe ten percent off lifetime, right? Uh, a free shipping lifetime, or whatever stuff. You turn it into a VIP. They're gonna keep coming back and buy from you. They may say, no, yeah, ten percent off is so so. It's a lot of for lifetime. As long as they come back and buy from you, you're making profits. Don't think about the ten percent. Even if you give them fifty percent off, you still make profits, right? But that's why this is how you find a balance between it, right? So this is kind of kind of. What I expect you guys to do it uh, uh, for Q4, right? There's a lot of stuff I know for today, and I really, really want you guys to digest it. You can eat, you can always watch this uh, replays so you can understand what you need to do, okay? I know it's a lot. I did not do a, go through a lot of exciting things to set up because it's too much for me to cover uh, in a free training today. So uh, that's why. Let me answer some questions first uh, before I move on. Okay, there's a lot of questions. Wait, I need to go through it one by one. Okay, but when I, before I go through the question, if you really enjoy today's training, you know they learn a lot, of, throw me some seven seven favors. I want to see some hundreds of comments today. So stay with the same credit card. Yeah, okay. Should we limit our shipping country audience? Uh, you can, Andrew. It depends on your supplier. If your supplier can ship to international, I will just go for international because. You need to know USA will be so expensive on those time. The the this everyone's running at. So but if you run it to some other country that do not celebrate Christmas or Black Friday, it can be still cheap, but they still have the holiday season. That's why you need to find a balance between it. Uh focus on normal products. I don't recommend you guys selling Halloween stuff or Christmas stuff or something that's seasonal based. Because if it's seasonal based product, that mean if they receive it ah if there's a delay in shipping they will be fine they will definitely be fine you sell them a christmas hoodie but the christmas hoodie do not arrive on time what do they do they will complain they will be fun you're gonna you will be screwed all right so try to sell things that can sell if, uh, uh, all the time okay let's say we already know this few competitor have a good estimate profit sales. Should we sell the same item too with but with pricing strategy? Let me tell you, pricing strategy is not the reason why you can sell. Look at Apple and Samsung. Apple is the expensive one, but they have the biggest volume of customer, right? So it's not about the price, it's more about like who sells to the customer first. Right? You, you see a company that's selling the same item. This item one. Maybe item is, is a t-shirt. And you see this guy selling this t-shirt, but he's already spending like 1k, 2k, $5,000 per day on ad. And now you just compete with this guy with just $100 per day. So who gonna see this ad first? Your competitor or you? You will be always failing because you are not the first one to sell it. So it's not good to copy what your competitor is doing unless you have a bigger budget than your competitor. That's my advice. I will not I will not negotiate. I will not uh, reduce my price. There's no point for me to reduce the price. On Facebook, it's about impulse buyer. They see your ad, they love it, they buy it. That's it. It's not like they see someone is so expensive, they go buy some cheaper one. It's not like that. It's who see the ad first, and that's what they buy. So no need to make it cheaper. Make it cheaper is you. You're going to lose the money. 
because you do not you're gonna spend more money on Facebook ad. Alright. What is a good amount should be charging for package could be shipped by DHL? Talk to your supplier. Different products, different pricing. You need to talk to your supplier about the exact price you cost for, for DHL or whatever stuff. And you can even charge higher first. Let's say you charge at least $40, $50 for DHL or FedEx. And then so that you know there's a margin for you to play around. Okay. All right. So uh, that's so far. So far what we have. So uh, if we still have a few number of slots open for the Q4 coaching. So if you guys not yet join our mastermind program, not join our coaching program, simply, simply reply YIK, okay, Y-I-K, my name in the comment section, and me or my team will reach out to you to see whether you are qualified or not. Right now, we are, we are having a very, very strong uh, filtering system on our mastermind because we start seeing people joining our program and then copy the stuff we have and then sell it outside as their own coaching. So we don't want this to happen in our program anymore. So that's why right now, for everyone who want to join our program, you must go through our interview session. That means you may have to talk to me uh, through a Zoom call before I let you in. So that's why if you're interested in knowing more about our program to see whether you are qualified, just type YIK in the in the comment box. So me or my, my team member, James, is going to reach out to you to see that where you are, you are qualified. Okay, so if you really, really want to crush it and work on it with me doing this Q4, this is something you need. Okay, we're going to go through weekly training, what you need to do right now, what you do next day, and all these things. For example, like last week uh, in our mastermind group, maybe I can sh just show you guys here. In one of our group, we are a student, uh, you just listen to us just for one uh, last week training, he's able to make some products working right now within just basically one week of training. Let me tell you. By the way, if you have any questions, you can also ask us as well. Okay, let me show you what it is. Yeah, for example, you can see EDF here, EDF here. So you just shared the post like I think two days ago. So last week we're talking about to relaunch an all within product in an account kind of with the strategy we mentioned it and it just worked like magic. I launched my all winner from two months back to an account kind of which ever give me a portable campaign performed really really poor. Now it gives me sales. So in Q4, what's the best way to make money is basically relaunching the all winning product. And we told Edith to do it like in, in September because she did to accumulate winning product in Q4, which now. So the earlier we launch the winner, the earlier you get all these things, right? So yeah, kind of this is what we do. You see, we have a lot of questions, people asking questions, sharing results. You can see George, I think George is here today, right? George also joined a program. He's doing already $100 a day. I think within just one week, I will utilize our program. Congratulations to George as well. So, uh, let me answer a few questions before I go. Uh, we're going to have dinner soon. Okay, let me see. Yik, do you recommend selling using charger or electronic charge? No, we don't recommend selling anything electronics. We don't recommend selling anything electronics. Electronic item is easy to break. They need to pass a lot of regulation in order to use it in multiple countries. Different countries have a lot of different regulation on electronics. So you don't want to sell something that against the law, all right? Will there be any chance like two winning products put together using two VP and only one stand on the reload and all? Yeah, you can. What you're saying is just basically combining, just you're testing two products with one, one testing campaign. You can do that, uh, and Facebook will pick the one that he has the uh, provident to, to promote and you spend more money on that uh, individual product. All right, so any more questions? So if no more question, uh, I will just call it a day. Okay, so I want you guys to, so uh, you can, you can also, you guys can always come back to, let me just, export it okay uh if you guys if you guys need the note if you guys need the note of the what we what we created on this google sheet just type i will say just type note note on on this on this slide uh i will send you the notes uh for you guys one by one
okay which is this one so if you guys want the notes for this one we have i've prepared here so easier for you to to reference as well as all the other stuff for example how to manage your finance okay how to and all the previous training that we, we have done okay how when we talk about uh let's say uh the organic traffic hacks that we done a few a few few months ago uh some winning product type that we have here you can see okay so we can just simply type notes here and i will reach out to you and send you the google notes but you already have it don't type it okay so we send the, the google sheet one by one and just make sure that the assets belongs to ync okay and the people inside the econ club so don't sell it even you give away as a gift for free this is also against the law okay i can sue you okay so that's what be careful when you guys utilize anything online okay i want you guys to be uh have a credibility all right so that's it that's it thank you for even hopping our, uh, our training i hope you guys uh enjoy what we've done what we share so remember that remember that it's never too late it's never too late to start your e-commerce journey okay the earlier you start the better benefit you get but that doesn't mean it's not good right just look at all those all those uh businessmen that they start the business like at their late 50s 60 the kfc or general right create a kfc brand when he was he's like around 65 and he's successful after a few years when he's like 70 years old and look at where like this is like how many hundred thousand of kfc around the globe every single way right the same for mcdonald all this brand so never too late to become uh, uh an entrepreneur okay you just need to have a faith and power to do it and do that as well all right so that's it that's it for for today's sharing i hope guys uh enjoy the training so far okay one last one of 777 and i'm gonna see you guys uh inside uh, the mastermind group okay so see you later have a good day have a good week um uh, for this video i will also upload to the mastermind so that you guys can watch it in the mastermind group this is a very good reminder for you guys as well okay so see you guys later have a good day have a good week and good luck all right bye bye